everybody we are back with another review and today we're gonna be doing my edc loadout for 2022 so without further ado let's hop right into this review uh we're gonna be doing my 2022 loadout and i'll talk about a couple things that i changed from last year's loadout the 2021 loadout uh and we'll look at some things that are the same so basically what we did was we did a pocket dump or i should say a body dump because not just stuff out of the pockets but other stuff as well like um optics for example that i do carry on me so let's see what we got here here is our pocket dump and what i'm going to do is i'm going to slide this off to the side and i'll pull things off it but this is what it looks like laid out and we'll explain every item that's in there so we'll pull something off the tray of course first thing is obviously going to be the cell phone so you know we have our cell phone that we carry with us almost everyone carries a cell phone with us at all times that's the number one item that i do everyday carry uh next up surprisingly enough optics living a mile above sea level or living pretty much anywhere um, optics are a must especially uh, if you want to have keen crisp eyesight um, these are costa del mars i've been rocking these for just about 10 years i got these in uh, i think maybe 20 end of 2011 early 2012 um, you can see some of the camos getting worn off here on the corners but there's a Costa logo. It's got the real tree print. These are called double hauls, and these are 580s, which means they are a glass lens, um, and they got a green mirror finish. And these are really nice. They have uh, these rubber stoppers, which still after 10 years still work good, have not peeled off <clears throat> or nothing. I mean, nothing's, nothing's degraded except for the camo, kind of rubbing off there on the corner, as you can see. But um, other than that, these are like my number two go-to because pretty much you can't leave around out here without um having some good optics on or else you're going to be basically blinded by the sun especially a mile above sea level so and especially if you go up in the mountains even worse all right let's uh everything else is not in a particular order i'm just gonna start pulling stuff but those are my definitely first two go-to's that are always with me at all times uh we'll go through the keys here in a second let's uh let's pull out some of my actual sidearms and stuff so here we go we have a uh, case and sons um, leather sheath here and inside there is boom 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 the Leatherman Rev now this is a um, phenomenal piece probably one of my favorites that they do in the Leatherman series love it pliers wire cutters strippers I mean everything little pry bar little flathead action you know what I'm saying you got your Phillips on that side so it's great for those types of utility things which I mean are gonna be the things you're gonna mostly use this for anyway um, we'll go to the blade last. Let's check out this side. We got a bottle opener, can opener, a file, a little mini ruler, a little awl right there, and a little skinner as well. You can use that to carve some wood or skin some animals, process some meat, lightly process the meat. Um, and then here, let's close this up. And I'll show you guys the, the blade. It's a non-serrated blade, so you can sharpen it. That's what you want. Well, at least that's what I want. Um, and that's i mean you can you could swap these out all these things could be swapped out again at the ends here you could just swap out the blade if you want a serrated blade i wanted a non-serrated blade um, i like the things that the rev comes with this is um this is always my go-to um when it comes to like needing anything basically uh tool wise on me i just go re just reach to the side and go grab it uh next up let's check out some this is secondary fire source or it could be primary um again it's got some pocket lint in there because again this is the pocket dump so not everything's going to be all pretty everything's used because i actually use this stuff so um straight out the gate we have an exotac uh, waterproof lighter sheath and uh, tied to either end cap is a uh, tarred braided line which is uh some bank line right there which actually holds the cap uh to this because they are two separate pieces they're not attached so you know until I did that, they were, it was basically, if this fell off in my pocket or something like that, or if it fell off, it can get lost anywhere. So I'd use some bank line to tie them and tether them together, which also allows me to shorten the bank line and maybe cut off a little piece right here um, that I can use as, as a little you know, kindling to get the fire started. And then of course we have our Bic lighter. I have a gray one in there, gray plain Bic lighter, of course lights every time. So we stick with that. We stick with what works. And again, if it's something in an emergency situation, here, I'll swap this over to the other side. If it's something in an emergency situation, 
Um, we want something that we can count on, not something that's cheap or fancy. Uh, even though this is kind of fancy now, I mean, it's got it's got a sheath on it that's worth like <laughs> ten times the price of the lighter. So pretty cool on that. I think this is the one downfall of the Exotac sleeve is the fact that there's no tethering device from the cap to the actual main body. And I think that that's something that's pretty essential, um, especially if you're in a situation where maybe you need to start a fire, you might place this on the ground and lose it somewhere. And now you've pretty much, you don't have this system anymore, this waterproof system for your lighter. You just basically have like a rubber grip on it at that point. So tethering device, some bank line, some tarred bank line, which is gonna be great if I need it, you know what I mean? All right, I think what we're gonna do is last thing we'll hit up is my keys because that has the most stuff on it. Um, and it's a modular system, so we'll hit that up last. Next up, let's hit up, so obviously Everyday Carry is a wedding is a wedding band, but when I don't wanna ruin my wedding band, I have a Groove Life one, which obviously is gonna be camo, which this one actually I grabbed is uh, not the same camo pattern as this. This is some real tree action. This is Saw Blades Mossy Oak. Some Saw Blades Mossy Oak action. Again, when it's time to uh, do something that involves my hands, um, I'll take mine off if I'm going on a, a trip or doing something out in the water. I'll take this off and then we'll use this as my everyday carry. Um, so that's important to include that in this pocket dump because every, every day I do carry my wedding band and sometimes it's nice to swap it out. So you know, that's something that's uh, by the valet and that's something that I have ready and waiting to go if I need it at any time. Uh, next up, let's go with, uh, let's do my money clip and then we'll do, we'll move through the rest. Next up, we got the GDC Gerber. This is a new addition to the loadout here. Um, I wanted a money clip that was not a card clip, although this will hold cards. This is a uh, full on money clip, which is about the thickness, as you can see, of some quarter, quarter folded bills. So I folded these bills in fours. Um, and then this is what it looks like thickness wise on this. Now the cool thing about the GDC is it also comes with another knife. So we got multiple knife sources um, on us at all times. We want different cutting devices because each knife has its own specific purpose. This one, it really at the, at the moment has no purpose. I haven't had, sought a purpose for it because I, I, if you see my keys, I have something that opens boxes. So this is kind of just an auxiliary knife that's just there that never gets used. So the blade is always crisp and sharp. And it does have some notches here where I guess you could do some kind of, you could do some some action, some talon action, and maybe slice a jugular or do something for defensive purposes. But um, the main point of this knife is to always be sharp and to never pretty much be used unless it needs to be used. And it's a redundancy item. And again, I wanted a money clip that had some kind of purpose. It wasn't just a piece of metal that was folded over that holds your money. Um, I like the fact that part of that part that folds over is a knife sheath, which is completely concealed. And especially if you're on the street or something and you get robbed and you just give them this, this is better than giving them a whole wallet. You're giving them uh, you know, a, a money clip with some bills on it. You know what I'm saying that most people keep their wallet and their phone together. So when someone steals your wallet or robs you, say you go to go into a city and you happen to get robbed. I mean, it's always good to think about this stuff when you're in a, you know, everyday carry situation. Uh, having your wallet and your phone together is just grounds to having both of them basically being stolen at the same time. So keeping them separate, which is why the phone was separate from this, um, is essential, you know what I'm saying? So most of the time they just want this. If you give them the phone and this together, that's just like a bonus item for the robber. So again, that is um, the Gerber GDC money clip right there. So lightweight aluminum, some plastics, um, and some stainless steel. So obviously the aluminum parts are gonna be all these green designer accent pieces. All right, next up. Let's go to uh, this. So uh, you guys probably saw this and were like, what the hell is that? That is an eye round steak, which I turned into beef jerky. And I do carry these in my pockets now um, on the regular, not only for a nice little snack for me, I could just tear off a piece of meat and eat it up. But uh, currently training my dogs this year. So it's nice to have trainable treats on hand. This is an unseasoned piece of um, beef. And like I said, it's just dried out, no seasoning, no nothing. It's got minimal fat on it. It's a nice eye round. So most of the fat is around the edge and I kind of just peel that off. So you got a nice piece of meat that's not gonna fall apart. The more fat and marbling that you have in this piece of jerky is more grounds for it to basically fall apart and break apart in those seams. So you can keep this in your pocket. I mean, I keep it in my pocket. And plus, like I said, it's a snack on the go. You got yourself some jerky, nice slab of beef in your pocket. 
And uh, again, it's perfect to have dog treats on the go. I always have treats on me when we're out and about. So it's nice to have this. I could just, you know, snag off a little treat for myself or for the dogs, or we could all have a treat, you know what I mean? So some uh, pocket beef jerky, can't lose that. It's probably something you'll never see on anyone's EDC. A raw, a raw piece of dried beef. <laughs> all right, that's good actually too. Next up we got, we got the uh, Ontario Knife Company. This is my um, Rat 3. No, Rat, yeah, Rat 3. Rat 3, check this out. Nice leather sheath there. Yeah, Rat 3. This is another knife that has a purpose to never get used. This is a defensive purposes only knife. So the Rev is gonna be my knife. If I ever need a knife for any type of utility purposes, the Rev is my knife. I fold that out and I use that. If I ever need something I'll show you when I get my keys out, kind of the hierarchy of knives. But this one is, this um, OKC never gets used. It's full tang. It's got real nice wood handle. Very nice. It's got some nice Allen-sized rivets through there, which holds everything together. It's got a nice little dongle hole here. And again, it's got a thumb grip. And again, this is a specific knife that is purposed for defensive purposes only. Uh, stabbing, slashing, and jabbing. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's really what all this is about. And it only gets unsheathed for those purposes. Obviously, it has not been used, but this thing is my everyday carry. And I've been carrying this for over a year now. Um, this was an addition that I added in for the first time to my 2021 uh, EDC loadout. And this is something that I love carrying with me every single day. Um, so speaking of this, I used to carry a secondary knife on my on my um, hip. And this is a, this is a trapper case but it's got a Cricut inside. And this is the M16 Cricut. I used to carry this as well. And this is what I use as my utility knife. And what I ended up doing was basically trading up the spot for this Cricut, which he still has, so I just left it in the sheath. Um, I, I traded up this Cricut right here for my Leatherman Rev. Because the Leatherman Rev is basically this utility knife, which is what this was. This was for defense and this was for utility. Um, so I got that utility, but I also have a ton of other tools in the Leatherman Rev. So this was a swap up in 2021 for me. This is no longer in use. This has uh, been retired, if you would. But that was another, another loadout. I was basically running that instead of this, and now I'm running this. So the Leatherman Rev is where it's at. Lastly, let's check out my keys, which has the most stuff on it, and it's probably got the um, most utility on it, basically. So we have over here some Night Eyes. A night eyes system here. We have a locking carabiner right here on top. Locking part is essential because you don't want these things just randomly falling off. You lock them on. You can lock this on your belt loop. You can lock this pretty much anything. You lock this on a backpack. I mean, it is steel. You can see this has been well used. This was originally black, and now it is like a stainless steel color or a black steel. So what I'll do is uh, we'll kind of go through each one of these and I'll unclip them as we go. So the, like I said, it's a modular system, so it has these little clips on them. And the first one we got, now this is my main utility knife right here. This is a SOG little pocket knife that folds out. It looks like a key. This is what I use, as you can see, to open up boxes or do utility stuff. I don't so much use the Leatherman for this type of a situation because now I have this on my key ring, which is perfect. What do we got next up on the uh, on the list here? Oh, right, here we go. We got some, we got the ferro rod. So we got the ferro rod with the striker. This I've been using, this fire steel has been in my EDC for just over 10 years. As you can see here, it has been used quite a bit, but um, this has uh, this has been with me for a very long time. Since I, the whole time I've been in Colorado, I've carried this with me. So this is Light My Fire uh, Striker. It's a metal striker, a flat striker, which actually works really well. Um, and then the last thing on this little uh, modular unit is a Boba Fett Pocket Pop. Now this, uh, I've been kind of trying to do a, a, a little test on this because I've and he's been in my pocket. You see all the lint under there, I mean, it's a pocket pop. Uh, and again, this is an actual EDC pocket dump, not some kind of fancy nonsense. He's been in my pocket for almost a year. You can see he's got some paint worn off on his helmet right here and on the side over here. But for the most part, his antenna and all of his parts on him stayed in normal shape. He stood on there. I do know that the screw goes back in there probably about an inch, so I know that's never going to rip off. But I was curious about these other things and all this other stuff that's on this keychain tearing stuff off. But he's been good. He's been there for almost a year, and he hangs out and he guards the ferrocium rod. So, All right, next up we got is 
a Leatherman Croc, which has multiple holes here for um, you to be able to use as wrenches for metric and standard. We got bottle openers, pry bars on both ends. The pry bar aspect is really nice because it's nice to have some leverage and this is some really good leverage. You could at least see about you know four to five inches of leverage right there, which is nice. Leatherman Croc, a must. We got the standard house key. We have the club key. Always have the club key on you at all times. We have the car key. We have the hitch key. Always have your hitch key on you. Never know when you need to access your hitch. We got two left on here. Lastly, we got is the night eyes. Check this one out. This is a really cool little descaler, bottle opener, pry bar, and it's a little fish, which is pretty cool, right? Next up we got is a little bottle opener. This is the Leatherman Bruiser. It has a little wrench right here, which you can use. We have a bottle opener, a little pry bar, and a can opener. So that's pretty cool. So redundancy is important. This and this are similar, but they're a little different. And it's, I don't care having them on there. It doesn't really matter to me. And next up we have, and lastly, the Leatherman Micra. So this is something that I have on my keychain. Like I said, redundancy is key. This one is the Micro, which has the scissor tool. So now I have scissors, pliers, wire cutters, wire strippers. And let's look at all the other tools I have on here. We have tweezers. We have another redundancy. We have a flathead screwdriver there. Look at that. A bottle opener, a little awe or a little chip. I also use that for Phillips as well. Next up on this side, we have a nice another blade, more redundancy, more blades, nothing wrong with blades. A little pry bar right there. Another pry bar, a nail file, and you could probably trim your nails with the scissors if you needed to. So the Micra is key, and I like that because it's on my keys. It is definitely essential to me in my everyday carry, as is all these things, and I like having all these things on me. I don't really care about weight. It's not really an issue for me. And even if it was an issue, I was walking over a long distance, it would be more it would be more of an issue for me to not have these essential items on me at all times um, than to have these things on me and to be burdened by the weight of them. So um, this is my pocket dump for this, vi you know, this video. I mean, this is pretty bare bones right here in regards to the things that you, that you would need, but it pretty much covers a lot of bases. Like I said, there's a ton of tools, multitude of tools on here that I carry with me on an everyday basis because I like to have utility tools on me to be able to do things that I need to do. So... Um, why don't you let me know down in the comments below what's your EDC loadout, what's your favorite item for your loadout, and uh, what do you think of my loadout? Is there anything in here that you have in your loadout particularly? If you carry Leatherman, what kind of Leatherman do you carry? If you carry a knife, what kind of knife do you carry? Let me know all that down in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Want more content like this, subscribe for more because I do reviews every single day. So look out for that and have a great rest of your day.